right, so what we're going to tie today is mealworm pattern, and I'm going to get some lead started on this hook. And when I made this pattern, one of the pieces of feedback that I got from a lot of you was that it didn't look like the hook gap was big enough. And I have to tend to agree with that. It did look pretty crowded, so to change that up, one with a 2x hook has a slight hump built into the middle of it and this increases that gap so let's get that lead on there I'm gonna go with some dark brown thread and get that lead locked into place build up a little bit of ramp to that one in the back. I'll do that in the front as well. And all I'm trying to do here is build that kind of mealworm profile tapered from, you know, the back and the front into the middle. So, uh, once you get that lead locked down, I have some nymph skin here. This color is their natural latex and cut this on an angle. I'm going to give myself a little tie-in point here. I'm going to start this right around the middle of that lead and give it a little stretch and work it back to where I'm going to end that mealworm. Work that back up. Tie that down. Okay, I'm going to get that out of the way for now. Everything that I'm doing here is just keeping in mind what I want that taper to look like when this fly is done. For the underbody for this fly, I'm, I spooled up some uh, cream-colored Antron. So, do the same thing. I'm going to tie this in. And I'm going to try to keep that on top all the way back. And I get that out of the way for now. And I'm going to build up a little bit of a ramp here to this lead as well. satisfied bring that back to the front just like that all right so next step here I'm gonna start by bringing actually before I go any further I'm gonna throw a half hitch in there just in case all right now I'm going to use my antron here to build up that underbody and the way you're going to lay this on is just keeping in mind you want to get that taper so I'm going to start out again making some pretty firm wraps around the back and then as I work my way forward I'll start to pull off on some of that tension and try to build that body up a little bit bigger towards the center
Okay, now when you approach the end of the ledge here, right where you made that ramp, the entry I might try to jump off. So I'm just gonna hold my finger in place to make that wrap. Hold that in place, get the next one going in front of it. And again, I'm just looking to keep that taper as I worked up, as I work my way up. Put a little extra in there. And once I get to this point right here, I'm gonna bring my thread back into play and I'm gonna catch that antron. And at this point we can clip this out. I'm gonna do the same thing again here. I'm gonna half hitch this off. And get that out of the way for now. All right, so we're going to do our thin skin at this point. First wrap is the most difficult one to get it to lay nice. So pull our first one up. And sometimes when I'm doing like caddis patterns, I'm looking to keep these wraps really symmetrical. For the mealworm, I'm not. Um, and I'll explain why in a little bit. I'll keep them close, but I'm not worried that they're perfect. And again, I started here with some pretty firm tension in the first couple wraps, and then towards the middle, I'm releasing a little bit of that. Again, just keeping in mind that taper that I'm looking for. And as I work my way forward, I'm gonna to start to add some of that tension back in. I'm not gonna work this all the way to the front. I'm gonna do one more wrap and I'm gonna capture it. Okay, so this is gonna be the point in which I capture the nymph skin. And it might try to jump forward on you. If it does, pull it straight down. And you should be able to get it in there like that. All right, so nymph skin to get it out of there. You wanna pull it tight, but you don't wanna over pull it. If you over pull it, the whole thing is gonna unravel on you. So get it firm, clip it out. At this point, I'm gonna build up a little bit of a head here with my brown thread. That's pretty much it. I'm gonna whip finish this off. And I'm gonna get my thread out of there. Right. So now the fun part. So to get this to be the color that you want, you can really mess around with the colors a little bit. I'm gonna take just a yellow Sharpie. Um, orange works well for this as well. And I'm just gonna cover as much of this body as I can with the yellow. We're gonna be covering this with a little UV resin and really makes the contrast of the colors when we add the brown in really pop out nicely. So, again, just covering it up with yellow as much as I can. All right. 
Now I'm going to add the brown in, and this is actually copper. Um, when I mentioned before not to worry about having the wraps be perfectly symmetrical, one of the things that I found when I'm making this mealworm pattern is when I add the brown in, I'm going to get my finger in there, I'm going to rub most of that off, but it gets stuck in the individual ridges when you run your finger across, and that's what really gives that nice kind of mealworm-like look. So I'm just going to add in some of this brown, and then I'm going to take my finger and run it down. I'm going to do this over and over again here. And it's gonna look sloppy at first, but when we put that resin on, this is where that nice coloration ends up coming from. And I'm gonna work this a little more than probably three quarters down each side. pretty satisfied with that. I'm going to come up here. I'm going to put a little bit of a dark patch there right behind my head just because I like the way it looks. And I'm going to go over any parts of the nymph skin that I can see where I tied off because I don't really want that white in the front. So hit it with that copper. All right. And again, once you're satisfied with it, you can put the markers away. And we're going to go to the UV resin. So, I'm going to get UV resin on this entire pattern. Work it on there, and then we'll get in and smooth it out a little bit. So I'm going to do the top down the side here. And there with the end of this. I'll work some of this over. it up onto the head as well. I'll do the same thing on this side. And I'm going to do the bottom of the fly. You're doing this step you can really start to see the color coming out and again just make sure the whole thing is coated Give it a rotation. Before you hit it with the light, make sure there's nothing on there that you don't really like. You didn't miss any spots. I'm pretty satisfied with that. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit it with the light.
and this fly does end up being a little bit tacky even though the UV cure is tack free. So I'm gonna hit this with just a little bit of hard as nails to finish it. Let's sit to dry. And anyway, it gives them a really nice finish. I'll just get the whole thing coated with a little bit of that. I've done this in some color variations, so at the end of the video I'll put some stills on of some different color variations of this fly. And just make sure when you do this, get the whole thing coated. So I get some up there in that head too. Alright, and that's it. Thanks for watching.